Good morning, everybody. We have a case. Azospermic husband. We did testicular biopsy. It's not open biopsy. It is an aspiration by, by needle. We got good number of sperms because it might be obstructive azospermia. We got good number of sperms and triopism. Then later we had stimulated. We got 15 eggs for this woman and 12 injected, 11 fertilized and we have a 10 uh, blastocyst, early blastocyst we have frozen. Actually we have frozen day, by, by the time of day 4 evening we got two early blasts, few early blasts and few compacting. By the time I will come next day it will be going to hatch. So I, I thought I will, I will freeze the embryos in day 4 plus. So now we first straw we have removed and this is four thought blasts blastocyst and they are in good shape all survived very well now I am going to check the embryo blastocyst after 12 hours of culture the patient doesn't want a donor sperm and technology we are improved is for benefit and we can have a biological child it is it is it is not good to uh, advise or counsel the patient for a donor when the patient is obstructive azospermia if it is ruled out then we can have a testicular biopsy and have a good sperm and they can have their own biological child then after after all technology is for use not for a presentation the technology we are getting up every day we are getting upgradation so we are i am going to check the embryos here we go we close the light so that good image will come One is 4 AA about to hatch. I told the doctors make it hurry so that they can do the embryo transfer. The patient is under preparation there. 2 into 4 AA, 1 into 3 AB, 1 is not a very good blast. So we are going to transfer this particular embryo blastocyst and we are transferring uh, the second embryo will be transferred because uh, why I, f I froze the uh, compacting because therefore I kept as extra embryos because we don't know the survival we don't know the survival so that after culture we can we can select best blastosis thank you